breast cancer affects one in eight women during their lives. No one knows why some women get breast cancer, but there are many risk factors. Risks that you cannot change include Age, the risk rises as you get older. Genes, two genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2, greatly increase the risk. Women who have family members with breast or ovarian cancer may wish to be tested for the genes. Personal factors, beginning periods before age 12 or going through menopause after age 55. Other risks include obesity, using hormone replacement therapy, also called menopausal hormone therapy, taking birth control pills, drinking alcohol, not having children or having your first child after age 35, and having dense breasts. Symptoms of breast cancer may include a lump in the breast, a change in size or shape of the breast, and discharge from a nipple. Breast self-exams and mammography can help find breast cancer early, when it is most treatable. One possible treatment is surgery. It could be a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. Other treatments include radiation therapy, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, and targeted therapy. Targeted therapy uses substances that attack cancer cells without harming normal cells. Unfortunately, most studies of sex after breast cancer explore only the problems and not their resolution. And most long-term studies survey women or couples just 6 to 12 months after treatment, which isn't very long. Meanwhile, a few studies have focused on couples' return to lovemaking after breast cancer, and they show that in loving, supportive relationships. Sexual frequency and satisfaction usually return to pre-diagnosis levels within a year or two. Men's reactions to women's cancer-related emotional distress play a significant role in women's sexual recovery. Among women who lose a breast, mastectomy, reconstruction hastens return to satisfying lovemaking. Researchers at UCLA, USC, and Georgetown surveyed 863 breast cancer survivors two years after treatment. All were sexually active at diagnosis, and all had surgery, with some also opting for radiation and or chemotherapy. Among the half who had mastectomies, one-third had reconstructions. Compared with cancer-free control women, the participants' libido, erotic responsiveness, orgasms, and sexual satisfaction were pretty much the same. In other words, after two years, breast cancer survivors recover not only physically but also sexually. In another survey of 139 married breast cancer survivors 20 months after diagnosis, UCLA researchers found that sexual activity and satisfaction depended on couples' ability to support one another through the experience. When the men were open to discussing the women's feelings and shared their own reactions, the women returned to pre-diagnosis intimacy. But when the men avoided talking about the cancer's emotional impact, the women were much more likely to report continuing sexual dissatisfaction.